Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny, and if you're new here, join the family. Before I get started, I want to share with you a little information about my favorite perfume company, Dorsier. I absolutely love their scents. Dorsier is a company that produces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting out all of the expenses and the infamous brand tax. In the description box, you will find a link to the website along with a discount code LOVELYMOMENTS10 to receive a percentage off of your order. Jumping into the first DIY from the Dollar Tree, I have this pack of little um, bunnies. They are the ones that can hold some little candies. And I have these transfer stickers that I absolutely love. And I have some stones here and I pick all of these up from the Dollar Tree. Now what I'm going to do first is open these little containers. They do wobble as you can see. So I'm going to add a few rocks to them so that they can be able to stand up. So after I get all of the rocks added, I'm just going along the piece with some hot glue because these do not need to open again after that so all i'm going to do is continue adding rocks to each one of them and hot gluing the two pieces together and after that is complete what i'm going to do next is give them two coats of this matte white spray paint letting them dry in between each coat once that is complete i am going to cut pieces from this transfer sticker sheet and i am just going to add the little black florals to each one of the bunnies i'm not going to add too many i don't want to overwhelm them i really do like them white but i thought i'll give them just a little bit of flair I think these are really simple, but they're cute to style for Easter, and you can actually leave these up after Easter and just style them for the spring. I think they are so cute. So I'm just going to continue adding one or maybe two to each one of the bunnies, and then after that is complete, this first DIY is done, and I think these are so adorable. Moving on to the next DIY from the Dollar Tree, I picked up this really pretty bow. I thought it was so pretty. Dollar Tree does have the nicest glassware. Then I have this little glass counter holder and what I'm going to do is use my um, fix all glue from the Dollar Tree. You can use E6000, but I'm going to just use my fix all glue and some hot glue and I am going to connect this to the bottom of the bow so I'm going to add my fix all first and then I'm going to go in and add my hot glue and then I'm going to flip the bow over and just press it right down in the center and I'm going to hold it for a minute so that the hot glue can connect and give it time for the fix all to dry once that is complete this is how it looks it looks great already but what i'm going to do is go in with that same white spray paint and i'm going to give it one good coat once i have that complete this is how it turned out and i'm just taking some of this black acrylic paint and i'm just going around the edges i'm going to make a few oops just so it won't be so perfect and then i'm going to add some little paint to some different spots around the base I'm not gonna do um, everything as you can see I'm just going to add a few different spots here and there I really love how this turned out and this is definitely something that I will keep up I can style some fruit um, in here some false feud and make this a centerpiece now from the Dollar Tree, I have this basket filler. I love the way this feels. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this inside the bowl so that I can style some items. And that will be it for this. I think this came out really cute and it's definitely something you can keep up after springtime.
Moving on to the next DIY, I have one of these eggs that have these little lollipop rings inside and I'm going to be using some more of the Dollar Tree transfer stickers. Now what I'm going to do first is open up this egg and I'm going to take out these little candies and hand them over to my son. Now what I'm going to do is just add some hot glue and connect the two pieces back together. I'm just adding the hot glue because there's no need for me to have to open this again. Once that's complete, I am going to use my white acrylic paint to paint this. So I'm going in with the acrylic paint instead of the spray paint because when I use the paint, it gives it a little texture. Now, once I started painting, I realized that I probably should have added some Mod Podge over it first because it will help the paint stick. But once I get this first coat on there, what I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge on a little sponge and just dab it over the paint. I don't want to wipe it because it may wipe off some of the paint. But for the future, <laughs> I'll go over it first with the Mod Podge, but everything worked out. So once I get that complete, I will go over it again with a, another coat of acrylic paint. Once that is complete, I am going to take those transfer stickers and I am just going to cut out what I want to apply. Now, because of the shape of this egg, I have to move really quickly when I add my transfers. And you'll see what I mean in one minute. So when I peel it off, I have to make sure that I add it around and just start pressing and transferring it because the plastic is moving as you can see but it is transferring it over a few spots didn't come over but you really can't tell it it really still came out great so once I get that complete I'm just going to cut off some more pieces and just add them all around filling in the spots I just want to make sure that I have the stickers all around the center of my egg So once I get the last set of transfer stickers added, what I'm going to do is take some jute cord and just hot glue it down and wrap it around the bottom of the egg. And I'm just going to cross the jute cord over here and there and then just tack it down with some hot glue and then just clip off the excess. And that will be it for this egg. I think it has a nice high end look to it and I absolutely love how this turned out. Now for my next DIY, what I'm going to be using is two of these wood cubes from the Dollar Tree and I have two of these little bunny kits that has the paint and the little brush. What I'm going to do is just use the little ceramic bunnies that's inside of these packs. And I'm going to save the little paint and the brushes because I definitely can use that in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my black acrylic paint and I'm going to give both of these bunnies one coat. And after that is complete, what I'm going to do is use my cafe chalk paint and I'm going to paint over these two wood cubes. Now I like this color because it's a dark color and what I'm going to do is just brush it on and then take some paper towel and just wipe off the excess. And I'm just going to repeat that all around this cube and I am going to do both of the little wood cubes the same way. These DIYs are so simple, but it is a nice way to create some high-end decor. Now I'm just taking some Dollar Tree sandpaper to sand around the edges and a little bit over these cubes. And then once I get that complete, 
all I have to do is attach my little bunnies to the top of each one of these cubes and what I'll be using is some more of that fix all glue from the Dollar Tree mixed with some hot glue And after I get the second one tacked down, that will be it for this set of DIYs. I think it was so simple, but it has a nice high-end look to it. And for my next DIY, I have some more of the Dollar Tree transfer stickers and this cute little wood bunny head. So what I'm doing is going over it with my white chalk paint and I'm going to paint this in the entire piece with that. The next thing I'm going to do is use that cafe color chalk paint to just go over the top of the ears. Now I'm only adding this tape right here. It's just so when I use the cafe color, it doesn't drip <laughs> down. So as you can see, I'm just going right above I'm not painting over the sides or anything and I'm not trying to do a full coverage because I do want you to be able to see through it just to give it a little distressed look and I don't want that to be like super perfect so after I get that complete I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm just going to create a little basic bow and then I'm going to hot glue it down right in the center of the two bunny ears I cut out the word grace from my transfer sticker sheet and I'm just going to transfer that over and after I get that complete that will be it for this DIY something very simple but has a nice little high-end look to it And I love how it turned out. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment box below, let me know which one of these were your favorite. And remember to check the description box below for the link to my favorite perfume company, Dozier. There also will be a Lovely Moments 10 discount code so that you can receive percentage off of your purchase until next time my friends stay safe so that i can see you in the next video